Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve these two given rational equations. And by the way dealing with the rational equations is simply means that we are taking care of these fractions. As you can see all these are fractions as you can see. So let's get started with the very first equation. So this kind of equation is called proportion. Proportion means that we have two fractions and we have an equal sign. So let's go ahead and get started once again. So in order to solve this equation, we are going to cross multiply, crisscross this way and this way. Let's go ahead and multiply this one with this term. So 8, I just want you to write down 8 times x plus 5 and then write an equal sign and then I want you to multiply this 6 times this 5x minus 4. So this is going to be a simply 6 times 5x minus 4. Let's go ahead and distribute this thing so you just this simply become 8x plus 40 equals to likewise we're gonna distribute this one over here as well 6 times 5 is 30x minus 24 so the next thing what we're gonna do is I want you to subtract 8x from both sides because we wanna, we wanna uh, bring x is on one side and constant on the other so this is gone so we ended up with 40 equals to 30x minus 8x is going to be a 22x minus 24 now I want you to simply add 24 on both sides so this thing is gone so we pretty much we ended up with 64 equals to 22x I want you to isolate x by dividing 22 on both sides so that means x turns out to be over here I can write x equals to 64 over 20 and now we want to reduce this fraction by just simply dividing by 2 on both sides so we simply got x equals to 32 over 11 so thus x equal to 32 11 is our solution set and that's our answer now we're going to talk, uh, we are going to solve this second equation since this is also a proportion so we are going to solve by using cross multiplication method so that means we are going to multiply this numerator with this opposite denominator and likewise this one with this so let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to multiply this x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals to the other way around is going to be simply 3 times 8 so let's go ahead and use a foil method or just simply multiply x time x is going to be x square and x times negative 2 is going to be negative 2x and this is going to be positive 3x and then finally it is going to be neg negative 6 equals to 24 let's combine the like terms on the left hand side as you can see over here so this is going to be x square plus 1x minus 6 and I want you to move this 24 on the left hand side will become negative 24 equal to 0 so we got simply x square plus x minus 30 equal to 
0. As you can see, this is a quadratic equation. So we want to solve for x. So let's go ahead and factor these one out. There are two possible parentheses. Factors are going to be x uh, and put down x over here. One is going to be, of course, the possible factors 5 and 6. You put down 5 and 6 over here. Since this is a plus 1, so that means this has got to be a positive. This got to be negative. Now the next step is we are going to separate these factors. So I can write x plus x minus 5 equal to 0. And the other is x plus 6 equal to 0. That means x equal to positive 5 is one of our solution and x equal to negative 6 is another solution. So thus negative 6 and positive 5 is our solution set and that's our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.